We had another torrential downpour this morning at four o'clock. So Natalie and I are out here kind of having a uh, grown up weekend in the camper out the farm and um, wasn't supposed to rain, but we probably got a good inch at least. So in the last two days, we probably had inch and a half, two inches. There she is. There's spiders on it. Yeah. They're all crawling at me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna, because it's so muddy, I'm gonna start on the east side of the house, a little bit more gravel. And then it's um, up here in this corner, putting the insulation on, because I don't know where it's gonna line up when it gets on the overhang, they have to be shorter pieces. Um, so I'll start right here, put an insulation, and then the idea is that we will use the lift to bring up a couple sheets of uh, zip siding or zip sheeting at the same time. Just finished hauling up the rigid foam insulation, and Tim's been working on tacking it to the roof. And then what's next? Try to die. <laughs> it's windy. No, it's a pain because, well, is it windy? Yeah. But the, uh... I think I said this before, but when we poured the slab for the pump room, I didn't line it up perfectly because I didn't intend to raise it up and do all this. No. Because um, we keep so changing our plans, right? It actually lines up okay. I think we pushed the wall out maybe a half inch at a level just to get it straight. So a half inch over the like 20 feet it is is not that much, but this side was too much. It was off about two inches, inch and a half or so. So what happens is the roofs come up and then they're offset. So I got to get past the hard part, which was cutting that offset out, um, at least on the rigid foam, and now I've got to do the same thing on the sheeting. So I got the first piece of sheeting up, but I just did a four, four foot piece to be more manageable. Now I've got to cut the next piece and then bring those up. At least I have something solid to stand on. Now that first piece is nerve wracking. You're up there, the wind's blowing, you can't step on the insulation, you gotta, it's just, but it's up. It's up, it's good. So we're gonna take a quick break and then get back to it. And then we're gonna use the lift to bring the sheeting up and go from there. done yeah it's about seven o'clock I guess uh, yeah, about halfway a little more than halfway down it was definitely a lot faster with Natalie helping me especially we didn't even get started till 10 30 11 o'clock because of the rain this morning and getting everything sweeped off uh, if we had that extra you know hour and a half two hours I'd have been all the way across but uh, awesome progress for today um, so I gotta do the top cap all the way down that's only gonna be I'm hoping it's going to be right about 16 inches. So on this, uh, these are cut for 16 inch spaces. So I'm thinking that 16 inch is going to get me awfully darn, awfully close to that. And then I've got to come down the top and shave it all together and seal that up. Now I am going to have a cupola down there with a chimney in it, a big cupola in the middle. And that will have the, uh, attic fan in it which I'm still not 100% sure how that's going to work with being on solar and how much power it's going to use and then we'll have a um, another cupola down there just to match so inside those I think I mentioned this before is that's where all my plumbing vents are going to come up at 
So it'll be a vented cupola, but it'll be sealed inside. So when a pipe comes through, it'll be sealed around it, and then up in the vent will be all, all open with air flowing through it. So it'll be, um, uh, basically you won't see any, any pipes coming through the roof. We'll have panels all along here and all along the steeper side. And um, like I said before, this is our summer system and that is our winter system. So of course they'll be on the whole time, but the way the system is set up, they'll be splitting. There's four arrays. So I'll have two up here and two down there. And um, take that back, there'll be three down here and one up here. Because this, this isn't going to be fully covered with panels, but we have definitely room to expand if we need it. Also because we added that extra 12 foot onto the end down there, we can add an extra, uh, would it be eight panels probably, eight to 12 panels. So, getting there, it's nice to see the roof going on. So I still need to trim up my edge here. I left it sticking up a little bit so the sheets would have something to lean against, which worked out perfectly. So I just gotta maybe trim that back a little bit before I tape it. Trim the top up, trim the edge up. So tomorrow will be a lot of um, getting the rest of the sheeting down. Um, all the way across which shouldn't take us too long and then um, in the afternoon we'll tape and um, liquid flash all the holes nail holes and everything so hopefully I can convince Natalie to get up on the roof and help me tomorrow because that would be helpful to get all that done and then we'd have all so it took two days to do that by myself take two days to do this with Natalie's help so we'll have two days on this side and it's ready to go and I still need to finish my framing on these windows. I built this window it's sitting right there. I haven't tacked it into place yet. Um, not that I'm avoiding it, I'm just really wanting to get a roof on. So, of course, I put the roof on this side. It's not going to keep any water out on that side. It's just going to all fall onto that, that open end there. But having this on and sealed, all this water will now shed off. And we do have rain. What's tomorrow? Sunday, we have rain. Uh, Monday maybe, something like that, I can't remember. We got a lot done the last couple days. My dad was able to watch the girls two nights ago and then Tim's mom watched the girls last night. So we got a lot done, just the two of us. And then my dad came out today to help. So Tim's been up on the roof putting all of the the sheets on and dad and I have been hauling things up as needed. So we have got this side almost done as far as the sheeting goes. Tim needs to finish putting on the tape. We'll get that done today. You can see that we have a 0% chance of rain. That is what it has said all day. That's what it says right now. But that is a very massive storm that's coming. Our way, right? Yeah, we've been watching it for about a half hour. Pretty impressive electrical storm, but you really can't see it on camera. So luckily we got at least half the roof on, keep some of the water out, but it's coming. It is coming. It's moving, it's actually moving pretty fast now, isn't it? Yeah. Because it wasn't moving, we've been watching it for a while, it wasn't moving earlier, but it's definitely moving out now. So we've gotten everything battened down, put all the tools away, put everything away. We're gonna go, go around one more time, make sure we got everything put up. <laughs> 